You ever seen a ghost, kid? Perfect, perfect. I collect ghost stories, you know. Kind of the premier ghost story collector around here. Kind of the only one, too. So, tell me the story of this ghost. Chilling. Oh, what happened to the ghost? Why did it disappear? Who was it? Who am I? What are we all even doing here? <laughs> I love it. Boy, listen, you come across any other spooky stories, you let me know. Or if I had three new stories, oh, I'd have enough material for a new ghost tour. <laughs> Ancient spirits that come out of your head to fight in battles? Right. <laughs> Not bad, little fella, but come on! I want real ghost stories, not fantasies. Oh, I can pay, too. I'll pay a child for ghost stories. Don't even act like I won't. You can't just stand here. Don't you know there's a war going on? The war for Forbird. The Queen's tearing it to pieces. Heh. <laughs> You're an agent for the Queen, aren't you? Well, you won't get any intel out of me. Now scram! Back again, huh? Oh, I have. My friend Booza. She got in the way of the Queen's search back at the start of the war. Oh, I don't know what she was looking for, but she was like a woman possessed. Booza didn't do nothing but be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and that was it. Dunjo. Still hear her wails at night sometime. Hear her in the night, I do. Wailing, but not in pain, but confusion. Like she doesn't know she's dead, but can't figure out why she's not living anymore. Only ever heard her say words once. Got a glimpse of herself in the water. I don't deserve to be hated, she whispered. Clear as day. Then she went back to wailing. That's war, kid. Now run along before you catch a bullet. Hey, you want to hear the saddest story in the world? Okay, so there's this baby. No, you're telling it wrong. It's not just a baby. It's a duck baby. A duck baby. And the duck baby gets stuck in a hole and gets turned into a spider. And then he dies! Ducks eat spiders, so now he's gonna be duck dinner. That's why he's sad. Okay, well, he doesn't know if ducks do or not, so that makes him even sadder still. Yeah, my brother told me this story, and he cried. Then my friend told the story, and I cried. Now we're telling you the story, and you're gonna cry. Okay, you better, or the zombie duck will come for you. This rug, this rug is very nice. Ooh, it shows real promise, don't you think? The future isn't made yet, young one. Weave it to your liking. I can tell you nothing else. You want to find Uma, yes? Then go and keep your dice friend close. Hmm? Hello there. That's a fine dice you've got there. Reminds me of QB. He... Well, he was. There was a time when he was. Me and QB. She was my dice. We did everything together, fought for people too. Not like heroes, but we did good where we could. It was a good life, and and then the No Dice War came to town, and there was a big climactic fight at the Quarterstone Arena, and you know, we rolled a oh, and we lost. And afterwards, I couldn't face that, face her. How? Find QB, enter the arena, and win the fight I never could. It'd only be a symbolic victory anyway. The Queen's too strong now. 
But, but it would be a black eye for her. Yes, she hates people messing with her rules. If you could win that arena fight, that would put a smile on my face. You know, I don't even know your name, but I like your attitude. And if you do decide to face that arena, then I wish you luck. Have you, have you won the fight? And you're here and you're alive, so clearly you won the fight, which is incredible. The queen's reaction when she finds out, oh, this brings a huge smile to my face. How do you do it? Oh, oh no, no. My poor little girl, I should have been there for you. She wouldn't, but that doesn't mean I can stop. I should, I should have been more like her. I'm going to bury her. I'm going to give her peace and then I'm going to make peace with my own past too, you know? I can't forgive myself for my mistakes, but I can learn from them. That's what she would have wanted. Not, not for me to be sad, but to celebrate our friendship, to celebrate what it stood for. Here, I want you to have this. A friendship bracelet that QB made for me once. I, I think she would have wanted you to have it. I don't need blue thread to remind me of what we shared. She lives in me now. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, war. <laughs> The source of many, many ghosts, both dead and living. Oh, I smell tragedy. A thing I've learned, sometimes even more memorable than even the finest victory. What else is it about? Oh, sounds sad and unfair and hairy. Very spooky. Oh, I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight. Thank you, kid. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Go on. Children are both more likely to see a ghost and more likely to be completely terrified by the encounter. <laughs> I can't wait. Ah, oh, I, uh, hmm. Oh, I see. And? Did they, um, you know, die at the end and become a ghost? Huh. Well, that's, uh, well, that is technically a ghost story then, and, uh, well, I I'll say thanks, but, uh, but I don't want to. You see, that ghost story is as disappointing as it is not spooky, which is to say it is extremely both those things. Ooh, oh, keep trying, though. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Heard any good ghost stories lately? Wow. Oh, the soothsayers are treasure troves of spooky stories and ancient knowledge. If you could ever get them to talk to you. So, let's hear it. Ooh. I already like where this is going. And... Classic, classic! Oh, and so mysterious. Who is she? Is she still here? What keeps her here? What does she want from us? Oh, it's got tragedy, romance, mystery. I love it. Thank you, kid. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, listen. You come across any other spooky stories, you let me know. Heard any good ghost stories lately? <laughs> An ancient class of warriors. Mm, tell me more. Is there a ghost in it? Interesting. Fascinating. Ooh, not a physical ghost, but the ghosts of tomorrow. Oh, of all your regrets haunting you better than even a dozen ghosts could. <laughs> yes! Oh, by the makers, that's terrifying. A life of sleepless nights, regretting one single mistake. <laughs> I love it. So it is. So it is. <laughs> and honestly, I was expecting more of like, you know, vengeful, horrific stories. What you've told me are just, well, 
Well, they were kind of sad, or, or, or moving, or, or, or stories that remind us there are things we may never understand, and, and like all stories, there's, there, there's a joy in telling them, a, a joy in, in being alive and being reminded of that. Uh, thanks, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs>